the 53-meter length, long March 5B rocket, with 1,000 tons of mega thrust, blasted off on July 24, 2022, from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in South China, carrying the 22 tons heaviest spacecraft of China, the Wentian Space Lab module. Subsequently, it was docked successfully, with TN core module TCM the Harmony of Heaven orbiting in low Earth orbit LEO since April 21. The Wentian, meaning quest for the heavens, is a laboratory module, and besides experiments, it can be used as a backup for avionics, propulsion, and orientation control of the TN module, which is the command and management center of the space station. Another lab module, Manxian, which means dreaming of heavens, the final component of the space station, is planned to be launched in the last quarter of 2022. With that, the China space station will be expanded and complete in the T-shaped module, with the core module, TN, in the center and the two lab modules, Wentian and Mengshan, on each side of it. China's space lab the Tian Gong Station is the culmination of three decade stretch project, starting back in 1968, when they started their research flight and then launched their first satellite in 1970. By 1992, they started working on their first rocket to carry people into space, moving step by step forward with some failures and a lot of successes. By 1999, the Shenzhou 1 a spacecraft whose name means the Divine Vessel was developed based on Soyuz Russian spacecraft design and was unmanned and it didn't have the unfolding solar panels. In November 1999, its test mission was successfully launched and it orbited the Earth 14 times in 21 hours and before re-entering the atmosphere, its altitude control capacity and heat shield working and separation from the launch rockets was tasted. Shenzhou 2 to 4 followed, providing data for the Shenzhou 5, China's first manned space flight, which was launched on October 15, 2003, with astronaut Yang Lui on board, making China the third country to send a person into space. In October 2005, Shenzhou 6 was launched carrying three astronauts who completed 76 orbits and confirmed the docking technology for spacecraft, providing a platform for testing short-term habitation in space. Further, in 2011 Tian Gong-1, a prototype space station was launched, which was followed by without crewed Shenzhou-8, which successfully completed a rendezvous and docking. Shenzhou-9 carrying three astronauts, successfully docked with Tian Gong-1. Afterward, Shenzhou-10 did the same allowing its three scientists to spend 12 days in space. But weighing 8,000 kilograms, Tian Gong-1 wasn't tall that much bigger than the Shenzhou spacecraft itself and at just over 10 meters long or around 35 feet space station. Tian Gong-1 was only occupied for about three weeks. However, it did give Chinese scientists exposure to space habitation. In 2016, Tian Gong-2 was launched, which was the size of its predecessor. It was decided to push the limits of its capabilities just a little bit further. In 2017, Tianzhu, the cargo spacecraft whose name means Heavenly Vessel successfully docked with Tian Gong-2 and completed the refueling and maneuvering proving the Chinese capability in resupplying, an essential requirement of a long-term space station. The Tian Gong-2 mission ended in 2019 with its burning in re-entry into the Earth's orbit. In April 2021, the first part of the new Tian Gong-3 space station, the Tian core model, Harmony of the Heavens, was launched on a Long March 5B rocket, the most powerful Chinese rocket in operation and the third most powerful in the world after the Falcon Heavy and the Delta IV Heavy. This first module represented the core of the Tian Gong space station and alone is longer than the Tian Gong 1 and 2 modules. 
At 16.6 meters in length, or around 55 feet, it weighs 22,600 kilograms. The T end model has a little more room for astronauts to stretch their legs. Although it was small, they did get access to all three dimensions. But this is still a tight squeeze for three roommates. TN was not the only module planned for the TN Gong Space Station, but two more modules are to be added to the space station the Wentian and the Mengshin Laboratory, of which Wentian is already docked. When the two lab capsules are in place, the space station will have a total living space of over 110 cubic meters or around 4,000 cubic feet. As a national space laboratory, a total of 25 scientific experiment cabinets will be deployed in the three modules. The complex will operate in LEO, the low Earth's orbit, at an altitude of about 340 kilometers to 450 kilometers above Earth's surface. It has a designed life of 10 years, but experts believe it could operate for more than 15 years with appropriate maintenance. These modules will give scientists more room to conduct life science experiments in microgravity, which wouldn't work well on Earth, and study cosmic rays in the solar wind. Although there are no concrete plans yet, China may eventually expand it to six modules. Several other countries and agencies, including the European Space Agency, France, Sweden, Russia, and Germany have come knocking to see if their scientists or experiments could spend time on the station in the future.